What's up guys, welcome to my channel, and welcome to part one of our album listen of Anu's first album called Circle. So, I really enjoyed the title track, which is O or Circle. Uh, very, very, very good, and very, very awesome to hear a sound like that from K-pop, or from a K-pop artist, and in the K-pop uh, spectrum, so... Really excited to hear the rest of the album. So we're going to do three songs in this one and three songs in two more videos uh, till we finish it out. So, all right. So after uh, Circle comes the song, which is called Cough. So let's check it out. Guitar. <laughs> That guitar sounds so nice, so big. Ooh. I love it. The background ooze. Ooh. It's that singer songwriter vibe. And the main instrument in this is the guitar. He sounds so good. I love the ghost uh, instruments in the background. I want to pause it, but I'm not going to. But I do have to ask, why isn't IU featured on this song? She should have been featured on this song. That's such a vibe. So simple. Ooh, yet so effective. Someone told me the album is uh, like an easy listening album, and I can feel that even though we've only heard two songs. I love the low run. And then they ended with that ghost instrument in the back. And was that guitar again? Interesting. I don't remember there being guitar in circle or O, but we got guitar here. Okay, I'm here for it. Very nice, very simple, just good pop music. It is easy listening pop music. At least this song is, but it's well done. Like, that's a freaking vibe. Wow. And I love the way... Uh, their use of those uh, uh, ghost instruments in the background. Sometimes they were, were him singing. Sometimes they were just sound uh, effects, but very, very, very well done. So, yeah, I'm going to take a listen to it. I definitely can cover that song. I don't know if it'll be interesting enough as a guitar cover because it's pretty straightforward, but okay. All right, uh, let's uh, check this one out. This next one is called Rain On Me. All right, let's go. And that was a guitar. Very nice sounding guitar. Ooh, 
Ooh, the chord change. He's right in your ear. And I can already hear the drums in this. I was hoping he was going to bend there. Okay, we're going to pause here before hopefully drums come in because I can already hear the drums in my head. Uh, but, wow. This is so nice. Very big. They're representing a big space, but almost like a live stage if everybody was dead silent. And most people would be dead silent when this is going on. But I can hear also in my head just, you know, drinks, you know, uh, uh, glasses clanking together, things like that. Uh, and uh, it, it feels very much like a live song. And he's right in your ear. It feels very familiar, but I can't put my finger on it yet. Uh, but uh, I'll wait to hear more before we talk about that. But yeah, that that tone is so nice. And the melodies in that chorus are very nice. So, all right, let's go back and let it vibe in. Those are the drums I heard. Except there are no cymbals. There are the cymbals. Ooh, and then they bring in, I don't know if that's a Rhodes. But very sparingly used. But very vibey. If I had a lighter, I would just be waving it like they used to do. Strings. Okay, 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 okay. I don't want to pause it. I don't want to pause it. But this, oh, wow, this song's th three minutes and 48 seconds. Okay, it just hit me what this song is giving me. So in this tone that he's in, it it's giving me Radiohead vibes. In the melody, of the vocal melody, and the, the sadness that he's kind of singing uh, with. But he's singing more with like a melancholy, not really like a sadness like you would hear uh, from Radiohead. But it's still a vibe. But what I'm getting from this, too, I don't know the name of the song, but it's the song uh, All By Myself is what they sing. And uh, I believe it's the chorus. I'm not going to sing it. I'm not going to put you all through that. But it's an old song and it's just all by myself. Don't want to be I forgot what the word lyrics are, but that is the, the chord progression here. <clears throat> and since they're long, strong or long, uh, uh, drawn out notes in that same type of melody, I, I just hear it just because. Because of uh, uh, knowing that, that song, right? Uh, so I don't think anything was borrowed or anything like that. It's just in the same chord progression, and it naturally calls for that, at least in this vibe. So I'm hearing that in the background, too. So very, very, very good. Okay, let's go back. But yeah, I'm getting a touch of Radiohead. If he goes off in this, I will be so happy. That's so beautiful. Okay. 
okay, he's not going to go off. That's fine. Wow. I didn't expect these types of songs. And let me pause here. I didn't expect these types of songs from K-pop. I'm sure they've been done in, maybe not in K-pop, but in general Korean music. But I've never heard it uh, done. And yes, so far, we're three songs in. This this album feels very much like an easy listening song. There's a, a easy listening album. Not necessarily melancholy. There obviously is in this and a little bit in Circle or O. Uh, but it feels like a rainy day album, right? Like this is something that I am going to listen to. And if it pans out, if it keeps going this way, or at least even if it if it ramps up a little bit, if it's still in the same vein, it's an album that I would listen to from beginning to end. That doesn't always happen in K-pop, right? Not because the songs aren't good. There are plenty of songs that I can listen to from beginning to end. But this one feels like it's settling, settling you into a vibe, right? It's really trying to create a concept with the album. And K-pop, and I know K the fandoms love to talk about, you know, oh, the intro did this and it leads to that. Yeah, but K-pop is so all over the place. Even if they have the same tone, they're not really creating a vibe, right? They're just doing K-pop songs within the same type of production and sphere, but it never feels like albums used to which is you put that album on every song all the placement is there for a reason and they are giving you they're taking you on a journey an album is meant to be listened to from beginning to end not picked apart like we all do uh and not every album from back in the day you would you know you could listen to from beginning to end but that's the way they were that's the way they were brought together all those songs that was the purpose of it and this feels very much like I'm going to listen to this from beginning to end a lot, especially on a rainy day. So, okay, so this is the last song in this uh, in part one. So let's check this out. This is Caramel. <laughs> And we ramp it up just a little bit. Ooh. Okay, okay, Justin Timberlake. I, I want to hit something because I'm so happy. Hold on. This is my favorite song on the album. Ooh. Hold on, hold on. Oh, that wasn't him rapping, is that? Is this featuring somebody? It just says Caramel. I think I did see a feature on here. J Jerry Boy? Yuri Boy? Tell me... Uh, how you pronounce uh, his name, but okay, so there is a, a feature on this. Okay. Wow. Yes. I thought O oh, was my favorite song. This might be my favorite song. So he was giving me a little JT there, a uh, solo jump, Justin Timberlake. I just got that vibe. And then all of a sudden, it still felt JT, but it felt 70s. I'm getting 70s. Singer songwriter uh, 70s groups. I can't put uh, my finger on which one, but that vibe is so, so good. And what I love about it is I don't know if these drums are live, uh, but they're, they're definitely off and they're off. Uh, not drastically, but they're definitely off on purpose. So I'm wondering if they're played that way or if they just programmed them that way. But either way, it, it, it hits really Really, really good. Okay, let's hear uh, Gary Boy. I'm just going to go with that. You guys tell me how you pronounce uh, that person's name, but let's check him out. Yeah. 
붕 뜨는 기분 나는 기체 옆에 너가 떠다니지 하얀 구름 같은 실체 빈털 처리 내게 하는 달콤한 말들 너마 다가왔어 쓰기만 했던 내 인생 왜 이렇게 달아 너의 러브 끊지 못해 내 자지력은 바닥났어 더는 숨지 못해 너의 달콤함에 끌렸나봐 나는 It's 멀어 nice. 너에게 눈이 멀어도 자꾸 보고 싶어 쿵 뜨는 기분이 But I'm here for that 올라가볼까 And that 오케이, okay, I don't even want to pause that chorus because it's so fucking good, but I'm going going to anyway. Okay, I don't know who the artist is, but whoever the artist was that did the title track for uh the Arthur movies, the original Arthur movies, it sounds like uh, a song like that in that vein. I don't remember who that artist was though. I don't think it was uh Christopher Cross. I don't remember who that was, but uh, the songs were a vibe and really, really good. And that's what that gives me. And the rapper, he did fine. He did great. I don't think I needed him in this song because he's uh, Anu's doing such a vibey thing and he sounds so good in this song. And he's giving more uh, in this song. Little runs and he you can just feel that he's ramping it up. And I wish it was just him all the way through. But nothing against the rapper. He did, he did great. And it does work. I would just personally, I just... I would love to see just Anu go off on this song all the way through. But all right, let's go back a little bit and let it vibe in. Oh, hold on. Is that a horn right behind him? I don't think it's a horn. A horn would stand out more. Uh, but there's a piano or a horn playing along with them right there. Just adding a little extra vibe with them. I think it's a piano and a horn. What? Hold on. Is that an Anu? Doing a trumpet solo. Okay, I'm totally confused. Hold on. How the hell are you going to do that live? Okay, hold on. That's not scat. Uh, scat is more shooby dooby dees and all that kind of stuff. He was literally... Was that him? That was very pronounced. It's very cool that somebody's doing that... Uh, that trumpet solo uh, with their voice, but it would be way cool, uh, way uh, even much more cooler if that was him. That's like a hidden talent that he couldn't bring out in Shiny, I guess. I don't know. That would have been sick if he would have done a... I don't know. I don't want to go too far because I don't know if it's him. You guys let me know. Either way, it's a vibe, and we're going to listen to it again. No, nope, go back. We'll just leave it there. How did they do that? And is it real? I'm oh, hold on. I'm totally engrossed in this in this uh, seemingly vocal uh, trumpet. It sounds like a person, but is it an imitation of a person doing that? Because whoever's doing that is very very good at it. It's not like it's super realistic, but just the way a trumpet works and the way those notes are fluttering in and out, they're doing a very good job at it. So we're going to listen to it again and pretend that I can tell if it's real or not. I love this album, though, if you guys haven't figured that out by now. Oh, was that actually the trumpet person doing what I thought was a horn back there? Hold on, we need to go. We need to dive deeper. 
need to investigate. We'll never figure that out without muting the vocal, which we can't do. Yeah, I guess it's a voice because they let into it. The production on this album is so good. And it's a subtle album, so most of the K-pop fans out there will not get it or care about it, which is sad. So when I first heard that ending, the way they end the chorus, it didn't hit. Like, those first sections did, but it's the last note that they chose. I was like, why did you stay? I'm just going to assume, right, that it was they stayed major when it felt like it, it should have gone minor. I could hear a bend in there, but they weren't doing it. So I'm wondering, uh, the whole time I'm like, okay, I loved leading into that, but the way it closed out, it, it kind of lost its, its uh, luster for me. But the way they did it here, uh, because the instrumental stayed on and it didn't fade out, uh, it hit different that time. So we're going to hear it again. Okay, it needed that chord. I can't remember if, that, if those were played uh, the previous times we heard that. But I don't think it did because this one was definitely more apparent uh, that it worked uh, to me. So, yeah, it's the last two chords in that that make that flow better. So, all right, let's go a little bit back. Dude, this is like going to be a 10-minute uh, video just for this song. Or 10-minute section. And now real horns. Yeah, I still feel like it should have gone uh, to a, to the note that I'm hearing in my head, but that's just personal taste. It's just uh, uh, what I hear uh, going to. Uh, but very, very, very good. Holy shit. So four songs on this album were what? Less than halfway. We're about 40% through the album. And yeah, this is like the perfect rainy day album. So we ramped it up just a little bit. Uh, I feel like... Let me guess. Going back down just to have a little bit of a roller coaster, but we'll find out. So uh, you'll uh, you'll be able to see that in part two. So really enjoyed this. This is definitely playlist. If you enjoyed this content, please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you next time. Peace.